Hey, my name is Josh and today I'm going to show you how to set up recurring messages in Slack. So the first thing you need to do is visit slackscheduler.com. After you've visited the website, click add to Slack. That'll let you log into your team and install the scheduler app into your Slack team space. Once you've done that, you can come back to Slack, open up any conversation or direct message or channel and just type slash schedule. Hit enter and you'll get the advanced message prompt here. So here you can specify your message, um, you can choose the date that you wanna start scheduling, you can also specify a time zone and the hour that you wanna start sending the message, as well as a minute and some other details. If you want your message to be a recurring message in Slack, then you just choose an option here. So you can have daily, in which case your message will be, spent, will be sent every day at this hour and minute. Um, or you can do things like every week or on a particular day. So if you want to send a message to your team on every Monday, you could just select this option. And then you can also select the last date that you want this message to occur. So if you only want this message to send for one week, you can do that. Or you can specify up to four months in the future um, and the message scheduler will take care of all of that for you. So let's do two weeks. And then after that, I'll just hit schedule. And you can see my messages have now been scheduled. So it's going to post on the 4th of May, which is today, and then also on the 11th of May. Um, and it's got the time that it's gonna be sent there as well. Um, so I can also see what messages I have just by typing schedule list. Cool, and so I've got two messages here, one that I created earlier um, and one that I've got that I just posted now, which is the one that sends it the 4th of May and 11th of May. So I can also delete this as well. So I can just go schedule, delete last, and that would delete the message that I just sent. I can go schedule, delete all, or I can specify the actual ID, and this will delete all the messages that I've just scheduled. So let's do that. Yep, and it's deleted two messages. We can just double check that. And now I've just got the one message left. So that's how you set up recurring messages in Slack using the Slack scheduler tool. And if you have any questions, send us a message and we'll be able to do our best to help you out.